So I thought we'd talk about just everyday normal things that can actually boost your glutathione that are really good to supplement with and also have a lot of other perks for your body. Um, one was selenium, which if you actually supplement with selenium, like actually get like a pill, sometimes it's easy to kind of overdo it. So be a little careful with that. Um, if you just find like foods that are rich in selenium, like eating like one Brazil nut would give you like your selenium. <laughs> so it's like, it's really easy to get it through food. While like if we were to eat like broccoli, it would take us eating so much broccoli to even boost our glutathione that it's better to just supplement with it. So thankfully for selenium, um, selenium is like a cofactor of glutathione so that is why it is good to take um but yeah basically it's a cofactor um some of the best sources are beef chicken fish organ meats i don't know if you guys eat like liver stuff like that cottage cheese brown rice and brazil nuts again the one with the highest amount of selenium on this list are brazil nuts um they're also kind of recommended for people who have issues with any type of breakouts on their skin or acne um, instead of this is one of those things where instead of taking a pill that has selenium in it because you can't have some bad uh, side effects um, I've tried it once I will not try it again <laughs> but instead of doing that you can just do one of these and actually you know it'll actually work out for you it says here that the recommended allowance for selenium is 55 mcg so if you guys do want to try and you know use a pill or something then that's how much you can take um, one study investigated the effects of selenium supplements in 45 adults with kidney disease. All of them received 200 mcg of selenium daily for three months. All of their glutathione um, peroxidase levels increased significantly. Okay. Another study showed that taking selenium supplements increased glutathione peroxidase levels in patients with hemodialysis. Um, okay. The studies above involved supplements rather than selenium rich foods the problem is also they're using people who have like diseases to do this um if you are a normal healthy adult then obviously taking 200 mcg of selenium is like something you would not have to do um if you want to try the supplements you can what i found for me is that it actually increased my acne so i'm not sure if i was taking too much or what the deal was but um that is one of the side effects so it's something that you would have to yourself um experiment with which is fun but just know that selenium rich foods will help boost your glutathione and um for that i am thankful because it's pretty easy to get another thing that i found that increases your glutathione is protein um anyone that's taking large amounts of protein also has large boosts of glutathione. I have no idea why this is. I'm kind of in the baby steps of doing a deep dive on how that works. Here, what we're doing is instead of like worrying about um, lots of protein rich foods, not that that's bad, um, but we're looking into kind of cutting corners and just taking whey protein, which is um, basically in every protein shake that you can find, um, uses whey protein almost. Um, I will have listed the whey proteins that I have used in the description box um, there is one that's more on like the expensive side I'm only trying it because sometimes with whey protein um, it can kind of mess up some people's stomachs cause a little bit of bloating so um, but there are other ones that taste really good that are easy to even mix into foods if you want to get your protein um, and not drink it with like water because I know for some people that's just like too gross but basically what happens is whey protein is like full of cysteine which is what helps with fine synthesis. So really through the whey protein, you're getting all of the cysteine. Uh, you can obviously just take cysteine if you would prefer that. But the great thing about the whey protein is not only is it kind of acting like, um, glutathione especially when you megadose glutathione it will help you with maintaining your weight and even uh reducing like certain cravings you might get for certain foods um whey protein for sure can help cut like cravings for like carbs and stuff like that keep you fuller longer so there's a lot of benefits to doing the whey protein um avenue instead of just taking the cysteine but honestly you could do both if you wanted to um but for any of you who are on like a body journey, um, either trying to increase like your thighs or your butt um, or gain your abs, then obviously high protein diet is going to give you so many benefits and also it's going to help if you're also um, 
you know, doing glutathione because it's going to increase that like crazy. <laughs> so that's why instead of just like taking cysteine for me, I enjoy the whey protein. Um, there is one website. Um, I bought this a couple months ago. It's like a, it's a clean, simple protein. Um, I got like a, they have like a pack of, I think 12 of these where you put this, you can mix this with lemonade, you can mix this with um, oat milk, water, whatever, but this whole packet has all of the whey that you need. And um, I just wanted to try it and see how it works for me. So far, I really love it, like the taste, but it is kind of pricey. Like if you want an actual full tub, I think it's like $65. Again, there's other proteins I've used from Amazon that taste amazing and also give you a lot of protein. So I'll have those down below, but this was just something new I was trying and I actually got sucked in guys. They have a copycat recipe for you guys know like the um the iced lemonades at chick-fil-a that kind of tastes like it's like lemonade and like a little bit of vanilla soft serve but basically there's like a copycat recipe um, of that um and actually i'm gonna put it on my uh patreon because it's it's delicious and it tastes like dessert um but yeah just wanted to talk about those things that boost your glutathione. Obviously, you guys already know about the whole vitamin C, how that goes into boosting your glutathione. Um, I'll make another video if you would like me to break it down, how vitamin C helps you boost it. And um, not only like it helps you actually boost it, but it actually helps you maintain your stores. So uh, vitamin C is actually a powerhouse in that it's doing two things, um, but we will talk about that in another video.